So now let's pull everything that we've learned and create or have a look at the end-to-end -end process. So in this example, I'm going to create uh, a sales order for two materials. For the first material, material ending with a 9.6, I'm going to have an abundant quantity. You can see here I have 100. I'm going to create a sales order for the total quantity of 100. Now, let's go in, let's create our standard sales order, put in our customer, uh, make sure that the delivery date is on the 9th, like we've seen before. And I'm going to put in for plant 3000. And for the first material, material ending with 96, I'm going to put a quantity for 100. And you can see that the order quanti quantity for 100, and you can see because I have enough stock, the system says, no problem no issues, I can deliver it uh, on the requested date. Now if we put material 9.8 in there, you can see it doesn't have enough, it's complaining, it's a problem. And if we look at the schedule line, you can see that the confirmed quantity is zero. And this is because we have nothing in stock. So now let's change the schedule line to CN, like we've seen before, and now notice how the schedule line has changed. You can clearly see, because ATP is now not relevant for this item line, the system can confirm the full quantity in the schedule line and say you can ship it on the 10th. So now you have a classic case of ATP. I have a quantity of 10 for the first item, it's in stock, and 0 for the second item, material 9.8. I have 0 in stock. So let's save the sales order and now let's see what will happen when we create the delivery. According to our fill or kill scenario the first item should appear as a quantity of 10 on the delivery and the second item of course should only appear a quantity of 0. So let me go into change mode and I will try to create the delivery. So change, deliver and Oops, I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again. Deliver. And because ATP is turned on at the time of delivery creation, the first item, as you can see here, is 10. The second item is 0, even though it was full on the sales order. Because ATP says, oh, you can't have anything. So I'm now going to pick a quantity of 9, just so we can see the difference. Yeah, so the first item is 9, the second item is 0. It now says, OK, let's save this. OK, so I've finished my picking. So let's go back to the delivery and let's do the goods issue. Oops, too fast. Let's try it again. So now you can see the delivery has been saved and the goods issue has been done. OK. So, oh, OK, um, let's now try to create another delivery. I'll go back to the VA02. I'll try to create another delivery for this. And you will see that even though I've asked for 10 and 10 and I've only delivered 9 and 0, the system has said, nope, sorry, you've created one delivery. And now all the other item lines are not relevant for any more deliveries. Yeah. So if we now go back to the sales order, well, okay, it says delivery exists, that's fine. If we go to the um, shipping, it's because of this partial delivery. This partial delivery only allow one delivery item, item B as we saw, and that's why we can't create another delivery. So let's finally build the item. OK, put in my delivery number, press Enter, and as you can see, it matches what we see in the delivery. Quantity of 9 for the first item, now quantity of 0 in the second item. Now, this uh, 0 item on the invoice, uh, some companies like to have it because they then like to give it to the customer and say, look, you ordered 100 from me, I could de deliver 0, now I'm invoicing 0. Or some companies don't like it at all. 
and what you can do if they don't want to see a zero item in the invoice is just to change the copy control so that you don't copy a zero item on the invoice it's a pretty simple configuration in the um, in the invoice so to wrap it all up what we just saw is we created a sales order for two items one with the full quantity and the other with zero we saw on the delivery how the system correctly determines what's in stock so that the logistics process accurately picks what's available we did the goods issue and then we created an invoice based on our deliveries and that is the SAP end-to-end -end process for fill or kill we've created only one delivery we couldn't create any more and we bill the customer for what we shipped so to wrap it all up let's just go back to the sales order you can see here there's only one delivery right so quantity of nine as I said before and the second one of quantity of zero let's look at the status of each uh, item uh, on the sales order so if I go to the second item line even though I've had zero deliveries or zero on the delivery the delivery status is marked as fully delivered and the item is marked as complete